Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of Asperia. I didn't grind as much as I said I would because I had no idea how long it would take. Like, look at that. To get from 43 to 44 is like 20,000 experience. So that's like 20 Link battles in a row. You know, with you know ones where you get two enemies at once. So yeah, that ain't, that ain't happening. But yeah, I did get a level stronger, which is fine. I'm okay with that. And also, uh, these guys over here, these are called Sand Thieves. If you steal from them, you have a chance to get a Take Mikazuchi. So yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, where was it? Oh, and also, uh, I found the glowing ribbon in the desert. Uh, like, actually in the desert. So, um, yeah, I didn't show that. But whatever, you can deal. Uh, now where is it? It was Take Mikazuchi. Yeah, see? I got another one. I got two. So yeah, if you need money, uh, go there and then just go in as repeat and just steal, 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 steal. You can get infinite money, technically. So anyway, uh, this is where Mount Temza is. you got to come over here. So okay, let's do it. And here we are. Welcome to Mount Temza. <gasps> These are human footprints, right? There sure are a lot of them. Could it be the hunting blades? That, or it might be the knights. But why would the knights be here? Well, Flynn was looking for Apathea too. If that's what the hunting blades are doing here, then the knights could be here for the same reason. Why is everyone scrambling to get their hands on Apathea all of a sudden? We never had the chance to get an explanation from the Dawn. If Judy will clue us in on what she knows, things might clear up. What the heck is this? The mountain's been... flattened. What could have happened? Is there really supposed to be a town here? Well, it was here ten years ago, that I'm sure of. But I can't vouch for what's happened since then. Ten years? That's quite a ways back. What were you doing way out here? Uh, well... Oh, that voice! Is that you, freak? Here's hoping everything's all right. Let's hurry. <laughs> did so? Did Judith sound like Baul? Is that it? <laughs> wow. But okay, tent right there, and let's go. I don't know. It's like ten years. Whoa, that's like a million years ago in human years. <laughs> what the hell? Stupid. It's even worse from up close. It is. It doesn't look much different. There's no way this could have happened naturally. It looks like something exploded here. An explosion. Are there monsters that can do something like this? Well, yeah. There were, but those monsters were all wiped out. What do you mean, wiped out? What you see here, this was a battleground in the Great War. What? Really? So that means humans and Entelikea fought here. The humans were victorious, but there were scarcely any survivors. The facts behind the war are shrouded in darkness. <laughs> yeah, sure. Not even the official government history is given give many details about what happened. This happened ten years ago! I'm serious. Ten. That's it. Someone will have know or will know. Oh my god. So the Endolakea did this to the mountains. A terrible power. But this is the first time I've heard that a battle took place here. The Empire's kept a pretty tight hold on information about it. They've got a lot of secrets. You should know that by now. I thought it was strange that monsters would wage war against humans, but... What they didn't want us to know was that those monsters were actually in Lakea. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Raven. You come across a lot if you live long enough, kitties. Yeah, he was 20 when the war was actually going on. See? Oh my god, and Yuri would have been 11, Estelle would have been 8, Rita would have been four, and Carol would have been two. They're all alive. They would have all been alive. Oh my god, they talk about it like it's some ancient event that nobody remembers. It was ten years ago. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, the monster's voice we heard just now. What if they've already got Judith cornered? Beating up that dragon freed is my job. <laughs> I won't let them beat me to it. Yeah. Let's hurry. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. So, it is a good idea to come down here. Uh, come all the way down here, and 
Wait, is it not? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, there's chests here. So, Red Sage. Oh, here, let's do the Great War. Man, the Great War. I mean, leaving a gaping hole where a mountain used to be. I still can't believe how much power the Antilochia must have had. How could the humans fight beings that powerful and not get demolished? I just don't get it. Indeed, the Great War may still hold secrets we haven't uncovered yet. Yeah, but the war's over now. It can't have anything to do with us, right? I hope so, but... Well, it only happened ten years ago! Saffron. Jeez. That, that's one of the things that's really, really, really stupid about this game. I will fully admit that. They keep talking about the Great War like it's some ancient event. But it's not. You know, here's the thing. Oh. Could you be any weaker? How about this? Maybe they should have... You know, remember in Tales of Symphonia? Remember the Carlon War? That happened thousands of years ago. Thousands of years ago. And that's what their tradition was based off of. At least in that game, it was thousands. Nobody was alive to remember it. There are literally a generation of people that probably know at least a little bit about the Great War. Pretty much everybody who fought in it and survived. Oh, Solid Thorn. It just con it just gets on my nerves. It's like, oh my god! It was ten years ago! Oh! Okay, it's weak to fire. Dread Wreath. Even though it's not that dreadful, it just looked like a tree walking around. Anyway, enough about the stupid Great War. Or the, the not-so-great war. I don't know. The stupid war. Oh, come on. Oh, damn it, Estelle. I was going to kill it. Oh, by the way. So, I did a little bit of... With my grinding, what I did was I changed what Estelle could use. And, um... I found some skills that she can use with, um... You know, I found some altered arts. So, barrier with divert dispersion is variable hex. Uh, basically, it creates an area of barrier. Um, resist with dispersion is re resist field. Same thing as uh, variable hex. Photon with chain is grand chariot. Um, resurrection with dispersion and alembic is regenerate. Dispel, I didn't find one. Uh, now, nurse. Nurse with crucible is nightingale. That's an immensely useful spell. So, yeah. Um, so, I still have all, all those skills on her. So, she will be able to use those whenever she actually does that. So, yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of hidden stuff here that you're not going to be able to get the first time through. There's a lot of stuff you got to break to get, and we don't have the Sorcerer's Ring that strong yet. So, yeah, just a heads up. Ooh, you let bees out! Uh, not the bees! Ah, uh, not the bees! Uh, whatever. Ugh. Ow, stop it. Stop wiggling. Creepy. Uh. Up, 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 up. Punching trees. Come on. Yeah, that was Nightingale just then. I, I missed it, but oh well. Yeah, punch the trees. Come on. Uh. Wait, wait. Damn it. Oh, stupid axe wiggle. There. These guys can be a pain in the ass because of their tails. Because their tails, like, make their hitbox really, really annoying. The sign of victory. Okay. Now, what do we got here? We got Deadly Horn. Cool. It is for Carol. There we go. Nice. Hammer from... Wait. <laughs> a hammer created in the image of a giant goat makes you feel united with nature. Yeah, that sure does look like a goat. Ugh. Anyway, <clears throat> oh, that was weird. Oh, I can. Uh, I'm gonna equip Flamberky because that'll help me kill these trees. Piece of cake. Don't get Burn the trees. Hockey. Ah, get out of the way. Suck it, tree. Ah. Oh. Jeez, look at that. Burn. There's Nightingale. Wow, that looks really cool from that angle. And he stole an... How did he... Where did you get an insect wing from? The tree? That's weird. Damn, Bugrat did like a thousand... Like 1,600 damage. That's a lot. You missed. You missed, Carol. 
Stop knocking them out of my attacks. Oh. Oh, stop knocking them out of my attacks! Oh. God! Damn. Oh, I almost had it. Oh, well. Yeah. Stupid Carol. Or Rapide, whichever one I was talking to. Because they're both low on TP. Uh, there's another chest. Ah, see, we can't get back there because these rocks are in the way. So, yeah. Gonna have to come back there much later. Hunting blades! Oh! Not these jackasses again. Ah, oh, and I can't get back there either. Man, could you be any weaker? God, I, I keep reading the 10 as a. Uh, ale, soya, and orgy. Okay. Um. Soya. Okay. I don't know why I have such an addiction to, um, oh, I have such an addiction to scanning enemies. I really don't understand why. I guess it's just fun. Oh no, Splash. Good, yeah, hit Carol. Carol's kind of my tank. I just give him so much HP and then so much defenses. There you go. That way I've always got a guy alive if somebody ever hits me with a multi-targeting Mystic Art, you know? And by the way, we're going to be able to do Mystic Arts relatively soon, I think. I'm not wanting to use them until I get the weapon that gives me the special skill. So, yeah. Uh, I'll be able to get Carol's first. Not that I'm ever going to really use it, because, well, I don't play as Carol. Plus, my uh, Yuri's Mystic Art is more useful to use. So, yeah. Nightingale! Yay! But yeah, it's like a little angel, and then she comes up and heals you. It's cool. And then regenerate looks really awesome. I love the way regenerate looks. This? No, it's not scary. But your legs are shaking. What? Uh, no, you're not. There. Oh! Piece of cake. Don't get careless. God, this is slow. This is very slow progress I'm making right here. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm just getting some TP back, because why not? Oh, and so also, I think I can actually be interrupted in an, oh, an overlimit 3, which sucks. Damn it, you see? I can be. That's very aggravating. God, I hate that so much. Uh, come on. Would you turn? Man, hey, Estelle, you want to friggin' heal me? Even with all these new spells, you suck. See, here's Nightingale. Now you'll be able to see it perfectly. Ding! Yeah, it looks really pretty. So there we go. That's Nightingale. That is a great replacement for Nurse. Because it heals everybody on the field and it's much faster than Nurse. So she just comes up, heals you, and then done. It's mu Like, the actual healing comes out much faster. So I highly, highly recommend getting it. Of course, you need Athenor. I mean, I... Of course, you need Crucible first, but whatever. We can steal a lot of random food from these guys. Man, what do you guys bring half the guild to kill one end of Lakea, huh? God, you guys are bitches. There we go. Come on. Stop it. Uh, stop. Uh, there we go. I'm good. Huh. Stop with the sword! The swords. Oh my god! Hunting potion again. Resist field. Nice. There. Go away, ale. I hate you. Or soya. I think you're soya. There. Death by punch. Repeat. Bad dog. Oh. Bad. Bad dog. Oh, okay. At least that time I didn't get interrupted. Bad dog! Ugh, I'm gonna beat ya! Not too shabby, huh? No, you're very shabby. Oh, I got an air stone. Cool. That sounds useful. Dot, dot, dot. Yuri, what's the matter? I was just thinking about what Judah said. Ba'ul saved me during the war. I just realized that maybe she was talking about the Great War when she said that. So maybe she fought against the Empire with that dragon, 
with that dragon freak during the Great War? Maybe Raven can tell us. You fought in the Great War, didn't you, old man? Huh? Why? I think only someone who was who was on the scene would know so much about the war. Really? But there weren't supposed to be very many survivors, right? Very true. I thought I was going to die back then, too. Ah, if only I died then. Things would have been so much easier, too. If only you died? What a weird thing to say. So did you ever see Judith during the war? Well, what, the ch what are the chances of that? Or what are the chances of that? No, not a chance. I might be. A, I may be a player, but ten-year-old girls are definitely off limits for me. Oh, jeez. Oh, what's so fourteen-year-olds aren't? Oh, whatever. Anyway, hmm. I feel like I never saw Baul either. Maybe they ran away from the battle. So it was really the Enelakea who fought in the battle. Well, who else would it do? Who else would it be? Do you know anybody else who could flatten a mountain? Jeez. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Though at the time, we thought they were really only a terrible breed of monsters. But wow, you were really in the war, huh, Raven? That's so cool. I thought only Imperial Knights fought in the war. Maybe I'll tell you more about it when you're older. Okay. Uh, no! I'm ending it off. So yeah, next time, we're going to continue up the mountain and get more stuff and fight more things, because this place is chock full of enemies. So see you then.